Now, if you're creating objects that are symmetrical, then you can save a lot of time and effort by only drawing half of them. That's where the mirror command comes in, and it can be very handy. So let's open up a file, and let's look at the mirror examples file. Here we have two objects that have already started drawing for us. One is this hex head bolt, it's a shoulder bolt, and the other one that I have here is half of a vase drawn in profile. So we need to start the mirror command before we can get going. Type in the word mirror, or you can type in the letters MI. Not just the letter M, the letter M is the move command. So you want MI for mirror. Then you can come up to the home tab on the ribbon, go to the modify panel, and then go to the mirror command. Start the command. Select your objects. We're going to select this half of the vase. You can pick one object or you can pick multiple objects. Press return. And now you have to create a mirror line. We have to pick two points. These points will create this imaginary line that your objects are going to be mirrored on. In the case of the vase, I've put a construction line drawn in here already to help us out so we can see what we're doing. But you don't have to have a physical line drawn in there. Sometimes, though, it does help you to get a better understanding of the process and to help better define exactly where you need to mirror about. So in this case, I'm going to start off by selecting the top of the line. And as you can see here, I have a bit of a preview. And you can kind of see how this is all going to come into place. So I have my mirror line, which is that dash line. I just have to pick a second point. So you can use the mirror command actually to be a sort of a rotate command in a way. And I've done that before. With this little preview, I'm going to now pick somewhere else along this line. And now you're given an option. If I want to erase the source object, that means this right half that I've selected will be gone. It'll delete that. I'm going to say no because I want to create my entire vase and make sure it's symmetrical. Just press enter. And here you go. Now if I select that line and I delete it, you can get a better look. There's a vase and it's completely symmetrical. Now if I start the mirror line command again and I select one of these halves, press enter, I can pick anywhere that I want and it's going to mirror my object for me. Now remember I can turn on ortho and that will help me to lock in my line work to be completely vertical. This will give you a few different options. So let's take a look here at this shoulder bolt or screw. This time I'm going to use the erase option. So I want the head of the bolt to be over here on the left. So I'm going to start the mirror command. I'm going to select all of these objects, press return, and I'm going to just pick the midpoint of this line and my ortho is on right now. So I can just come straight up like this and I'm going to go up to the top. And now I'm going to tell it yes to erase the source objects. And there you go. So I did a kind of rotation with the mirror command. I just flipped it over. So my old bolt is gone, and now my new one is facing the proper way.